Good morning, friends. I hope everybody's ready for an awesome day today. It is sunny and beautiful here in Hawaii. What's the weather like where you are? Oh, I hope it's pretty, but remember, even if it's not, we can still make our day great, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so this morning we're going to sing um, the Where Is Mmm song, okay? So if you hear your name, listen to what it says to do, okay? Where is Dahlia? Where is Dahlia? Please stand up. Please stand up. Do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Where is Faza? Where is Faza? Please stand up, please stand up. Do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Where is Braxton? Where is Braxton? Please stand up. Please stand up, do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Where is Bryn? Where is Bryn? Please stand up, please stand up, do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Where is Charlie? Where is Charlie? Please stand up. Please stand up, do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Where is Strider? Where is Strider? Please stand up, please stand up, do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Where is Blake? Where is Blake? Please stand up. Please stand up, do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Where is Gracie? Where is Gracie? Please stand up, please stand up, do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Where is Cooper? Where is Cooper? Please stand up. Please stand up, do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Okay, you guys ready? We're going to do everybody. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Please stand up. Everybody stand up. Please stand up. Do a little wave, do a little clapping, sit back down, sit back down. Great job. Give yourselves a round of applause in your legs. Thank you so much. That was a wonderful job greeting this morning. Okay, so my friends, today for our sharing, we're going to talk about our feelings. At any point in time, you have feelings, right? You might be happy or you might be sad. You might be excited. You might be disappointed. You might be angry. Sometimes we get angry, right? Are your feelings okay to have? Yes. Is it okay to have any feeling that you feel? Yes, absolutely. It's okay to feel what we feel, right? And sometimes it's good to talk about our feelings because then we can acknowledge them and figure out why we're feeling sad or why we're feeling angry. So I want you to think about today how you're feeling. Okay, everybody think, think, think. How are you feeling? And you know I want you to raise your hand. Got it? Awesome. Well, I will go first, and your share today is I feel mm because mm. Okay? Uh, Mrs. Ferguson feels, so I'm going to say I feel happy because I get to go outside and run today. Mrs. Ferguson goes running when the weather is nice and it's really, really sunny and pretty here. So I feel happy because I get to run today. So when you share, you can share what you're happy about or what's making you feel sad. You can share whatever you would like. So for instance, I have a couple friends who just celebrated their birthdays. 
Raise your hand if you just celebrated your birthday. Yeah. And you might say, I feel excited because my birthday was so much fun. Or you might say, I feel excited because my birthday is coming up. Okay, so there's lots of feelings that we may be having. So please pause the video and find someone you would like to share with. And you're going to share, I feel mm because mm. Okay, everybody, this week we've been working on writing a letter to someone that we love that we can't see right now, right? Because we want to brighten their day. We want to make their day better, right? And so I bet when they open their letters, they're going to be so excited. I love getting letters. We got a letter today in the mail from our friends Ambrose and Lillian, and they drew us an Easter bunny picture that was so cute. And guess where we put it? Where do you think we put it? Right on the fridge. Yes, we love getting letters. Everyone loves getting letters and it's really fun to send letters to people too. So we're gonna finish up our letter today and I am very excited to finish it because once it's finished, I get a great sense of accomplishment. I feel like I've really done something, especially when I work on something that's hard to do. If it's hard to do and it's challenging, I think it's even more rewarding and exciting when I finish it and I've done my best. So I cannot wait to hear all about how your letters turned out. So what I did here, I took all the writing that we did and I wrote it again and I wrote it smaller because we were running out of space um, to do our writing on my board. So this is exactly what we've already written, but I just wrote it a little bit smaller and I kind of pushed it together so that we would be able to finish our letter um, with some words at the end, okay? So this is the part you guys have probably already written, and we're just going to finish it up today. So let's go ahead and use our pointer power, get that pointer ready, and we're going to read the words that we have, okay? Dear Grandma, how are you? I miss you. I hope to see you soon. Great job. We've got a great letter written already, but I want you to think about what we might want to end with. This is going to be the last sentence that we write. So everybody think, think, think. What could I put at the end of my sentence to wrap it up? Hmm. All right. What do you think? That's a good idea. What do you think? Oh, that's a great idea. I think it would be a great idea, just like you said, to end with have a good day. Okay, so we're gonna count those words. Have a good day. How many words was that? Four words, yes. Let's draw four blanks. Have a good day. One, two, three, four. Great job. Okay, so let's start out with our very first word here. What's it going to be? What's the word? Have. Yes. And remember, we want to start with an uppercase letter, but what sound is at the beginning of have? <gasps> H. Yes. H and have is actually a sight word, so we're going to spell it 100% correctly, okay? And it is spelled H A, okay? So we've got have, yes, great job. Have, and this ends in an E. It's not a magic E because it doesn't make the A say its name but it is an E at the end, okay? What word did we just write? Have, good job. Okay, have, what will this word be? Ooh. A, yes, and A does not need to be an uppercase, it's a lowercase when it's a word, unless it's at the beginning of a sentence. Tricky, tricky English language. Have, A, Good, yes, good is also a sight word. So we're gonna sound this one out as best we can, though, okay? G, g, g. G, 
yes, G, G, goat. Good. Now this has two O's in the middle, this sight word. It's kind of hard. I, that would be, that looks like goo, but we're missing a letter at the end. What is it? D, D, D. D, yes, good. Have a good day. You guys are listening so well, and you know exactly what words we're writing. Great job. All right, what are we going to put for day? D, D, D. Another D, yes, absolutely. Oh, Mrs. Ferguson kind of made that D funny, didn't she? Let's see, I might need to redo my D. Here we go. D A A What do you hear there? A And this is another sight word. It ends in Y. Day Have a good day. Is that what we were going to write? Yes! Do we want to say have a good day? Or do we want to say have a good day? I think we want to say have a good day. And then we need an, where is that exclamation point? Awesome, great job everybody. So we are gonna finish our letter with a salutation. Say it with me, salutation. And this is when we say something at the end like love Jimmy or love Mrs. Ferguson or love Avery. So whatever your name is, you are going to write your salutation at the end. Now, I am going to write, because this is to my grandma, I'm going to write love and then my name, okay? And I don't know if you guys remember our song. This is another Nellie Edge song to spell love. L-O-V-E spells love. L-O-V-E spells love. L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E spells love. That's another Nellie Edge song to teach us our sight words. So how do we spell love? L-O-V-E. Great job. And we're going to put it right here. L. Oh, I'm going to put a line so I remember that it goes there. And this one's going to be for my name. O V E. We're going to put a comma like we did before. L O V E spells love. And then in this line, you're going to write your name. Okay, you're going to put your name on this bottom line, right? And I'm going to put my own name. Are you going to write love, Mrs. Ferguson? No, you're not going to write it to Mrs. Ferguson. You're not going to write Mrs. Ferguson's name because you're not Mrs. Ferguson. So I'm going to write my own name here. And you guys can watch me write my name. But you will write your own name. Gotta put my finger space there. Perfect. All right, who wants to read the letter to my grandma with me? You guys are such great readers. I know you're using your pointer power, so let's do it. Dear Grandma, how are you? I miss you. I hope to see you soon. Have a good day. Love, Mrs. Ferguson. Awesome job. We're going to do it together one more time, and then you get to try on your own, okay? Get that pointer power ready. Dear Grandma, how are you? I miss you. I hope to see you soon. Have a good day. Love, Mrs. Ferguson. I love listening to you guys read. Now it's your turn on your own. Are you ready? Pointer power ready? Big brain ready?
How'd you do? Did you do it? Great job. Give yourselves a silent raise the roof. And we're going to mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. Great job, everybody. I love listening to you read. And I can tell that you are growing your brain when you are reading and writing with us every day. I am so proud of all of you guys and the hard work that you're doing. Awesome, awesome. Now remember, this is your own writing. So you write whatever you would like to someone that you love that you can't see right now, that you can't visit right now, okay? And if we're not writing yet, we can draw a picture and get that ready and work maybe on our name on it. So if you would like to write, have a good day, which is what we wrote today, and if you would like to write love, you can pause the video now and catch up with that part because tomorrow we will be making an illustration to match. Who's ready for hero time? I'm ready for hero time. I'm ready, ready for hero time. H-E-R-O time. It's time. All right, it is time for hero time. And we have a hero today that is, um, he is actually, I want you to guess what he does for a living. Oh, that's hard to see on the camera, isn't it? There we go. Let's see if we can see it a little bit better. There we go. Who can tell what he's wearing? What do you think he does? He's a firefighter. Yes, this is Mr. Casey. Can you guys say hello, Mr. Casey? I like that he heard you. Mr. Casey is a firefighter and a paramedic, and he actually specializes in aircraft rescue, which means that he is able to rescue people um, and fight fires from, um, from a plane or a helicopter, which is really awesome. And this is, Mr. Casey is Cooper's dad. And so I bet Cooper is super, super proud of his dad and what he does. Now, a firefighter, what does he do for a living? Like, what does he do that makes him a hero? What do you think? Yes, he fights fires. It's our instinct to be like, ooh, I've got to run away from the fire. But in order to help the people um, that might be in danger or the property that might be in danger, Mr. Casey actually goes into the fire to help put it out and rescue the people and animals that might be in the building. So he works so hard and he is such a hero because that takes a lot of bravery to be able to do that, to be able to fight fires, and especially to be able to do that from a helicopter or a plane and to rescue people. So I want you guys to say a great big thank you to our hero of the day, Mr. Casey. Let's say thank you, Mr. Casey. Awesome, awesome. And let's give Mr. Casey a round of applause. Thank you so much, Mr. Casey, for being so brave and helping your community by being a hero. Okay, it's time to play our game. And today we are going to play a game of Narwhal Says. Mr. Narwhal is going to tell you what to do, but he has to say Narwhal Says if you're going to do it right? Just like Simon says. If he says, jump up and down, should you jump up and down? <laughs> no! You have to wait for him to say, Mr. Narwhal says, jump up and down. Okay? So you gotta pay attention to Mr. Narwhal and what he tells you to do, okay? Who's ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, I hope you've got your listening ears on. Do you really have to listen? Now, Mrs. Ferguson, can I see you right now? Maybe. No, I can't. So you have to be honest. If you're out, you just sit down. And when we play this game in, in school, we always have a jailbreak. And if you have a jailbreak, that means you get to go back in the game, okay? All right, get ready. Remember, you only want to do it if Mr. Narwhal says. Okay? <laughs> okay, ready? Mr. Narwhal says, jump up and down. Oh, Mr. Narwhal says stop. Mr. Narwhal says turn around in a circle. Stop. <gasps> Did you stop? He didn't say Mr. Narwhal says. No, I didn't. 
If you stop, do you have to sit down because you're out? Okay, get ready. Mr. Narwhal says, do jumping jacks. Mr. Narwhal says, keep doing jumping jacks. Mr. Narwhal says, stop. Mr. Narwhal says, jump up and down. Mr. Narwhal says, stop. Mr. Narwhal says, act like a monkey. Now, act like a giraffe. <gasps> Did he say Mr. Narwhal says? No, if you acted like a giraffe, you're out. Go ahead and sit down. Mr. Narwhal says, jailbreak, everybody's back in the game. Oh, I love it when everybody's back in the game. Everybody get back in the game. Mr. Narwhal said it. Yes, I did. All right, who's ready? What are you gonna tell us to do next, Mr. Narwhal? I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of something fun. Oh, I know. Mr. Narwhal says, everyone act like a narwhal. Narwhals live in the ocean, so you could act like a narwhal in the ocean. Mr. Narwhal says, everyone act like a bunny. Everybody's acting like a bunny? Mr. Narwhal says, everyone act like a duck. Quack, 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 quack. Stop quacking. Did you stop? He didn't see Mr. Narwhal says. You should still be quacking. Let me hear you quack. All right. Mr. Narwhal says, everybody give yourselves a round of applause for a great game of Mr. Narwhal says. That was a really good game, Mr. Narwhal. Who wants to keep playing? You do? Okay, we'll play a little bit longer. Okay, Mr. Narwhal, you gotta think of some good stuff, okay? Because we gotta get our bodies moving. Mr. Narwhal says, do the Macarena. Okay, ready? Hey, Macarena. Awesome. Mr. Narwhal says, do the YMCA. The YMCA? YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Mr. Narwhal says, do your favorite dance. Favorite dance. Oh, stop dancing. Stop dancing. Did he say Mr. Narwhal says? <laughs> no. Everybody keep dancing. Mr. Narwhal says, keep dancing your favorite dance. Everybody likes to dance. This is Mr. Narwhal's favorite dance. That's a good dance, Mr. Narwhal. Thank you very much. All right, Mr. Narwhal says, everybody sit crisscross applesauce with your hands in your lap and give yourselves a round of applause on your legs. Oh, great job, everybody. Thank you so much for playing with me and Mr. Narwhal today. I thought that was a pretty cool game. Me too. I love being Mr. Narwhal. La, 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 la. Good singing, Mr. Narwhal. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we're listening really well to our parents and we're working really hard at home. Um, to be the best, kindest people that we can. Who's going to do that today? I'm going to do that today, too. Thank you guys so much for coming, and we'll see you next time. Bye!